Hi, my name is Heather. I am an oil painter and a mixed media artist. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a master board. And this was a request from Love Mariposa in my last video. And so I'm going to show you how to do it and what you can do with the master boards that you create. Basically, a master board is decorative paper that you make for your own use. So you can use it for absolutely anything that you can dream up to create for tags, for art journaling, for uh, paper clips, the list goes on and on. So um, I'm going to show you today how to do it. Thank you so much for the request. And if anybody has uh, something that they would like to learn, just leave me a comment and I will teach it to you the best of my ability. And if I don't know, we'll learn together. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll hit the bell and subscribe for future art videos. Thank you so much for the request, love Mariposa, and this one's for you. Let's get to it. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just taken scrap pieces of paper on a mixed media piece of paper and glued them down with Mod Podge. And I just used whatever I had in my stash. I'm gonna cover all of this up basically. And then I'm going over it with a coat of clear gesso. Now I'm doing a wash of orange acrylic paint and water. And then I lay a paper towel over it and pull it up and you see the imprint of the paper towel, which I think is pretty cool. Now I am taking a card and swiping it with white gesso across the paper. And I'm drying it with my heat gun. And then I have some dilution paint and I'm just um, doing a wash over the, over the entire piece. And then I'm using a paper towel again and getting that um, the indentions of the paper towel in there. Now I have a stencil and a makeup brush and I'm taking some dilution inks and I'm just putting them inside my stencil. I learned that it's easier to spray the ink on your craft mat and then put it in your brush and smear it on the stencil. Um, it gives a cleaner look. And then I'm just do, using some ink and making some um, splatters. And I love this ink, it's really shimmery. It's awesome, awesome. And then I just got some stays on ink and a butterfly stamp and I'm stamping all around. I got another circle stamp that has like little music notes in it and I'm stamping that all the way around the paper. And then I got my fine liner out which has acrylic white paint and a little bit of airbrush medium in it. And I'm just kind of scribbling some words, some messages. And then I'm just making some little circle marks And of course, you gotta have a little shimmer, cosmic shimmer, I love that. And I'm putting that everywhere and then drying it with my heat gun. And voila, you have a master board. Just like that. You can use this to create anything, tags, paper clips. You can use it for the covers of your journal. Um, anything you can think of. You have created your own master board. So I'm going to show you a few things that you can create with it. Um, I cut my sheet in half 
and then I put it through my Sizzix and I made a couple of tags and I'm just gluing coffee dyed paper on the back and then with the scraps that were left over I made a little bookmark and a little paper clip and that was one half of the sheet that I created. Now I put mine through my sewing machine and sewed around the edges. You don't have to. And I punched out some reinforcement holes to go on the, the back of my tags and my bookmark. And I decided I wanted um, a couple extra little circles on this one, so I added it with my um, Dilutions paint. And now I am taking my Distress Ink of Vintage Photos and going around the edges of all of them. And here I'm making a little paper clip, just gluing the two pieces together with the paper clip in the middle, of course. And now I have some sari silk that I am just um, using as some like ribbon. I love sari silk. It is so much fun to use in projects and it's so, so pretty. And so with just one half of the sheet, I was able to make two tags, a bookmark and a little paper clip. And that is it. That is how you create a masterboard and a few things that you can make out of the masterboard that you create. I hope this video was helpful and that you will uh, subscribe to my channel for more art videos to come. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm going to be doing another giveaway with these tags that I created with this masterboard. All you have to do is leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to learn in mixed media. And then on Monday the 28th, I will use the comment picker and pick two winners. I'll see you then. Bye.